Yeah, maybe the financial markets were a, a little bit more disappointed that Bullard, uh, who spoke uh, a little bit before Powell, uh, wasn't in, wasn't gunning for a 50 basis point cut. He a lot wasn't people, as dovish as you might expect from him. No, he is obviously the most dovish member, and therefore markets probably geared themselves up for him, kind of hinting that 50 basis points was likely. So. That, that probably of the two was the more interesting speech. And just to bring it back in the context of the US dollar then, and we were talking about obviously the impact that that has had on the euro. Euro is obviously trading uh, firmer versus the US dollar. Uh, but in, in the interest of the upcoming cutting rate cycle that's about to come out of the Fed, is it fair play to say that on the back of that you could expect to see some dollar weakness? Is it as simple as that? Is it one for one? <clears throat> It is, it is tough because um, obviously the, the, the US has a, a twin deficit, mm. which all other things being equal probably should be uh, a, a dollar weakness story. Um, but um, it is more complicated than that. Um, Europe, is, is, uh, Europe as a whole has got a current account surplus. Yeah. So uh, all other things being equal, the euro probably should be rising against uh, the, the, the dollar. But then you've got the interest rate differential being a um, a, a, a different thing. So the euro dollar has been stuck in a quite tight range for some time as these two forces fight each other out and we're not convinced it's going to break soon. So we've talked about trade war, we've talked about feds, the other uh, important development that markets have been focused on over the last week of course are the geopolitical developments. So we've seen some of the risk premium <coughs> being priced back into energy markets. Also gold is back up trading at six year highs. Uh, do you have a view on the precious metal here? Um, well, I, th I mean, I, th I think it was interesting to see Bitcoin um, up 180% since uh, April. Some of that is because of um, the, the Libra pro project. But I think it, a combination of Bitcoin and gold, there's, there's an element to it that right. if central banks are going to be disaggressive, then alternative currencies do start, start to become a little attractive. bit more attractive. Yeah. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.